it's a little bit unfair, I think, but that's the way it is. In terms of um, uh, frequently asked sort of questions, mm. uh, what happens if a person leaves? You still get paid up to that to that time that they that they uh, they have um, they have been in the business. So if they if they if they're there for three months, you get the first seven k and they leave, and and that's that's uh, that's okay. Um, what if they earn less than fifty six k per annum? That's okay too. Like I said, if they earn forty k, you just get fifty percent of the forty k, which would be twenty thousand uh, dollars. Freelancers, or contractors, or ca casuals eligible. Uh, freelancers and contractors, obviously, no. Um, casuals, if they do move to part time and and um, full time, would that be right, Jazz? I'm sorry, Michael. If casuals ca casuals aren't actually eligible, the yeah, minimum yeah. hours per week is 20, 21 hours. Is that right? So, uh, just to clarify that, if a casual moves into a part time position, yes. When, when we talk about a part-time position in most of the states, it's about 21 hours minimum per week, except for Victoria, which is 15 hours, is still acceptable for some reason. It's a little bit unfair, I think, but that's the way it is. Mm. Um, and the other one is, can I apply myself if I'm a business owner? Um, that's, that's a no. So the directors cannot, be, um, cannot actually apply for this themselves. Um, are there any out-of-pocket expenses? Uh, Jazz will talk a little bit about that in a sec. And then obviously, what if my employees don't want to do it? Um, there has to be mutual agreement before you can go ahead with this. So um, we do talk about how you frame this to the, to the employees. You don't just talk about, the, obviously, the wage subsidy. It is an amazing opportunity to upskill your team at the same time. Um, and every time we've presented it to our team, they've, they've jumped at it. So uh, the answer to that is um, they probably could say no, but you'd be questioning whether they are the right employee if they didn't want to upskill themselves in the first place.